We are the Saturdays. What you're about to see is an access all areas insight into our sold out headlines tour. But remember, what goes on tour stays on tour. Coming up on the Saturdays, what goes on tour. Oh my god! If you fart, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Oh no, you can't have me doing the shoes. Oh. It's not even like I'm the one that makes everyone late. Stop it. Don't hold back. This is the story of the tour through my eyes. But first, let's see what the other sats have to say about me. Frankie is the naughty Saturday. The biggest flirt in town. It's the first thing you think of flirty Frankie. We're like, Frankie, you can't flirt with that person. She's like, oh, oopsie. Oh. I just can't help it. Oh, you're shooting here. Um, 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 She flirts with me sometimes. I'm in her bum. She does a lot of the laughing. <laughs> That a lot of the time. Bye guys, see you soon. And I just can't seem to get enough. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a few tips. I'm really nice. No, I'm not. But uh, I think you just got to be her for it to really work. Oh. So I was thinking of being on the cover of Playboy. I'm a bit flirtatious. What can I say? Oh, no. <laughs> it's like we're sisters. We just completely take the Mickey out of each other all the time. Oh. But then at the end of the day, we're always there for each other as well. Bedtime. Ever since I was younger, my nan's always called me Sunshine and Showers. And there's no better way to describe Frankie. When Frankie's in a really good, good mood, she's in such a good mood. <laughs> but then when she's not in a good mood, she's just very quiet. She'll sit there and she's in her own world. There's not really much of a grey area with me. <laughs> but you'll always know when she's in a good mood. It's like I go mental for a bit, use up all my energy. I'm like a child, I'm like, Aah! and then I'm just like, oh. <laughs> Okay, so that pretty much sums me up. Let's get on with the tour. Let me show you what happened when the Sats hit Glasgow and Newcastle. Scotland's number one hit music station. It's Monday morning, 7th of February in Capital, and it's just one of those wild and wet days. Being on tour for us is the most exciting part. There's so many people. You've got your band, you've got the crew, catering. Oh, not now. <laughs> hair and makeup. This is how much makeup it takes to make us look half decent. Stylist, wardrobe, production. Babe, I get what you need. You ask me for something, it's got, yeah? Mark's the tour manager. Okay, can you get me uh um... Not now, you've missed the boat, love. The ship's left. I think Mark's probably got one of the hardest jobs of everyone on tour. He has to control all five of us. I'm feeling very stressed. Why? Because no one's ready. Come on, let's go. One minute left, come on, mate. You're really late. Come on, girls. He's amazing at putting up with us. What the Oh, no, you can't have me doing the shoes. He's kind of like our dad now. We have a special relationship, Mark and I, because he's named his child after me. I think Mark likes to let everyone believe that they're his favourite. Well, Mark's a bit yes, of a player, because every time he's with us, he says, you're my favourite. I'm fine with that, as long as I feel special for about five seconds. Mark! Showtime! Ooh. Introducing Nick the hairdresser. <laughs> what a poser. Seven me Barnet, Dan. He's kind of like the big brother. It's not even like I'm the one that makes everyone late. Stop it. He bullies us all, winds us up, but we know he cares, really. Oh. I don't look so close to my face. <laughs> The band are always my favourite part of going on tour. Smells like farts. Marcus, who is like the MD, he has to be in charge of everyone. Jimmy on bass. <laughs> Andy on drums. Buddy Bonds and I. Louis, he's always up to something, he's cheeky. <laughs> I'll keep it up here. I like having the band around because I get to be a bit of a boy. There's a baby in there. <laughs> yeah. I'm joining with all the man jokes. That's why he stays in the dark. <laughs> kind of becomes like the little family for the month and it's always been my favourite part of being in a band. So we're in Glasgow today. 
It's the second day of the tour. I like to run a tight ship. Behind the scenes, I've got a whole team of people working day and night to make sure everything goes to plan. Because it's such a big production, there's a lot of crew, so I'm in charge of keeping on top of everyone, making sure everyone's doing their job. So I'm just going to go around and have a check. I'm a real team player. Can you just sell some more tickets, please? Frankie to Kez. Just missed a bit. Sorry, Frankie, I, uh, I won't let it happen again. This is where we do the quick change. The thing is, right, we're getting naked. You can see the crowd from here. If this curtain opens a little bit, everyone gets a little bit more than what they bargained. There's absolutely no room for complacency. No, I told you earlier, we need time for this. The girls are going to be ready in about 15 minutes. And if you're not already, I'm going to come there. Can I come there? <laughs> Can I come there? <laughs> I'm tough. But fair. We might have to lose a few crew members. Kez, um, could you get me a cup of tea, please? Okay, I've run out. I've got to go and sort this out. I'm sorry, you're going to have to sort No rest for the wicked. We've got work to do. Bye bye Glasgow. Hello Newcastle. When you're cooped up backstage, everyone tends to go a bit crazy. Show you the wet end. One. Oh, round you go. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, it's the tour catering. Jeez. That's fantastic. <laughs> This'll finish her off. Bedtime. It just gets boring backstage, so I just kind of like to have a laugh and just enjoy myself. In Newcastle, we were getting restless, so we raided the prop store and look what we found! Oh my god! Does it look like a Have you guessed who it is yet? <laughs> Rochelle got a bit of a bum deal when it came to the pantomime horse. <laughs> I'm in her bum! I'm backing up. I'm backing in. How's this? How's this? If you fart, I'm gonna kill you. Stop! Wait! It's coming out! I like big butts and I can't like that! <laughs>
Yeah. We wanted to kind of go outside and like see our fans without them knowing that we were there. <laughs> <laughs> Great hall sound effects, Frosh. Very realistic. We don't got any horse money. ended up saying was Frankie's bum. I think we just about got away with that one. We're in Newcastle and this is our banner for Frankie. We queued from six in the morning to get our front row tickets. We love the Saturdays and I'm really excited to see them. When I see fans of my boy hair it's amazing. So flattering. Really excited. <laughs> I bumped into a girl as I was leaving one of the venues and I actually thought it was me. We love the Saturdays and Frankie's Frankie's a favourite. Favorite. It really confused me for a second. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, go on, girls. Let's chop it off. <laughs> I'm excited. Not too nervous yet. I don't get nervous until we get out on the scissor lift. You don't realise that there's thousands of people out there and you don't, don't think about it because it's just us. Then when you get out there, you start to hear them. And then it all, the nerves kick in and it's just like butterflies. So just about to go on stage in Newcastle. my room in Newcastle and um, we've just done the show and it was a really good show the crowd were amazing anyway I'll see you later guys bye coming up next time Molly is going to show you why what goes on tour stays on tour the next stop is the underwear shop I doubt you'll want to film this she turned up with nothing oh no it's Peter I just don't answer let's go oh my god what is that there's a disease in the cow oh this is the worst spa I've ever been to oh, I'm going to hear. Oh, oh no!